I need to stop shopping. It's actually ridiculous. Hello to the new phone. I just got the most disgusting drink ever. Do we Mickey Mouse nails? Yes. I'm not yeah. it right yes. now. Yes. Some of my friends hate when I pull out the camera, and I'm like, first of all, girl, it's literally my job. channel you beautiful gorgeous angels it's Zayna I know we've been doing so many hauls and you guys I need to stop shopping it's actually ridiculous so instead we're gonna try out this whole vlogging thing again today I have actually quite a few things I need to do I need to run some errands I need to go get a new phone also tonight is my nail girls three-year anniversary we're gonna go celebrate her three-year nail anniversary tonight at a super cute restaurant this is literally like my favorite place to go to wait till you guys see it it's honestly just so beautiful but first I need to go to the mall and I need to get my things done I also need to get some makeup this morning when I was making my sandwich I was on the phone with the airlines for so long they were just dealing with some like internal issues and they were trying to say it was my fault but it wasn't my fault and yeah that is a hint at another solo trip so if you can guess where we're going girl leave it down in the comments anyway so yeah I was dealing with that literally for like four hours today it was so annoying I couldn't even eat my sandwich in peace but I did get to watch a little bit of Desperate Housewives is anyone else watching that right now it is such a good show but yeah I just got ready and I put on this cute little tracksuit you guys this is my favorite tracksuits from Pretty Little Thing I'm gonna show you the whole thing I know you guys always see me wear this but it's so cute and it's so comfy and it's like kind of snatching too you know like the zip up jacket fits in all the right places and so do the pants and the pants are like a fold over you know and they kind of flare at the bottom too like it's just the perfect set ever also please excuse these brows girl I am trying to grow out my brows again because I don't know if I like the thin brows well honestly I like the thin brows but when I take my makeup off it just does not look cute and I hate that like I want to feel cute with no makeup on too so Right now they're going through that like weird growing stage so one looks so different from the other but then again my brows always look different but anyways it's fine okay so let's just ignore the brows but yeah now I'm about to head out to the mall girl and it is so freaking cold outside this last week has been minus 41 like I feel like a lot of people don't know what that means but minus 41 is like bizarre it's actually terrible so I didn't leave the house I've just been binge watching Desperate Housewives and it's actually really good it's super slow paced though so if you don't like a show that's really slow paced like there's eight seasons you know I like to watch it because of Brie and Gloria like those two are my favorite I don't know it's okay I, I'm gonna keep watching it but I also just finished the show oh my god what is it called fake profiles on Netflix it's so good if you want to watch a show that's drama romance and like kind of bougie too you know like I love watching shows where I get to see like all the bougie people because it's super inspiring. But yeah, if you like to watch shows like that, girl, watch Fake Profile. It's only one season. I think they're bringing it back for another season. And there's like maybe like 10 episodes. I just finished Elite 2. I started watching Too Hot to Handle, but I was like, this is so freaking boring. I really don't care about Too Hot to Handle. And then I also tried to watch Social Profiles. I think that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? Like the other one where they all like have to pick a partner and go in a room. I don't even know, but that one was stupid. Like I stopped watching after the first episode. I was like, no, thank you. Anyways, I need to stop this rant right now and I need to head to the mall. If you're new here, hello, my name is Zayna. On this channel, we like everything pink and girly. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you never miss when I post. Okay, let's go. This is what the outside world looks like right now. 
It is so freaking snowy and cold and I don't want to go out there, but I have to. Like, that just looks so sad to me. I'm just pulling up to the mall right now. These roads are so bad and I'm so scared to drive because I don't have winter tires. And you can probably see like how bumpy it is right now. It's because of all the snow. Let me show you. Like, you're kidding. What the heck? Where did this come from? Go away. I, I actually hate the snow so much. It's so annoying. <laughs> and I really don't want to put my winter tires on yet, you guys, because it's already basically February. So what's the point? The snow is going to stop soon, right? Anyways, I'm so glad because this mall has underground parking and it's just such a blessing, especially in the city. I need to get a new phone because my phone barely has any storage so I need a phone that has a lot more storage because that would be really nice. I also just feel like my speaker isn't that great so I don't know. I, I think it's just time for a new phone. So ah, ah, I hate the speed bumps down here. Let's hope, let's hope that the underground parking is actually warm. Their underground parking has above ground parking as well so it's kind of open. Ah. <laughs> I hate speed bumps like I remember back in the day they didn't have any speed bumps in this freaking underground parking and I used to freaking zoom through which probably makes sense as to why they have them now let's hope the mall isn't too busy I'm really not trying to get anxious every time I go to the mall you guys especially this one a lot of like younger girls will stop me and be like are you that girl from TikTok and I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm like very socially anxious all the time. Sometimes, unless I'm dressed up and I'm wearing heels and a dress and yeah. Cause if I'm not wearing heels, then I just feel like a potato, you know? Like, I, cause I'm so short and I just, I hate when people tower over me and I'm like, hi, you know, I, it's the weirdest thing. Okay, the freaking underground parking is actually packed, but please tell me that's only because it's cold outside and not because it's busy in there because girl I just it's fine you know we just have to mentally prepare ourselves to talk to a lot of people it's okay you know these are your supporters girl just be grateful that you even have supporters right social anxiety is not gonna get me today okay let's go inside bye hey guys I think I'm gonna go for this one because it has a lot more storage than this one but it's black and it's not pink but it's okay because we're gonna get a case like this one. Yay! I'm excited. Say goodbye to the old phone. Hello to the new phone. <laughs> oh, that's huge. I almost dropped it. I'm just waiting for them to transfer my stuff to the new phone. I'm in a really dangerous mood, like I really want to go shopping and just spend all my money. But that's not very responsible, is it? Let's just look at stuff. Tell me what you say now, tell me what you say. You said that you would come again. You said that we would remain friends, but you know that I do not depend on nothing or no one. So why would you show up so uninvited? trying so hard to be good and like not buy anything but it's so freaking hard like I just want to buy everything and I know that all the Valentine's Day collections are out so it's so hard for me to keep my cool Lush has a new Valentine's Day collection oh my god <laughs> Okay, I'm back home and I got the phone, yay! I'm really sad that it's not pink though, you guys. Like I wish it was pink, but they only had a black one. But I'm really glad I got it. And then I got this pink case from like the place next door to Belle. I also got a screen protector. So the screen protector and the case together were like $90. Why is that so expensive? It was so stupid. But I've never had like a privacy screen before. So now no one can look at my phone. I don't know. 
I'm really happy I got the phone. The camera quality is so much better on this thing. This is the 15 Pro Max. The quality is amazing. The speaker quality, you guys, is so good. Like, compared to my old one, which was the 13, I think. And I have so much storage now, so now I can just film and film and film without having to stop, like, every five minutes to delete. It's so annoying. But yeah, I'm so glad I got it. Anyway, so the dinner is in a couple hours, and I want to show you guys what else I got from the mall. Of course, we have to do a freaking haul. I love how in the beginning of this video I was like I need to stop shopping but I went shopping but I didn't do too bad to be fair first up let's do Bath and Body Works they didn't have the Valentine's Day collection which is what I wanted so I think I need to go back and look for it but I only got two things did you guys know that Bath and Body Works has shampoo and conditioner I haven't tried it yet but I just got the conditioner because I feel like if I do the shampoo it's like not really good for my scalp you know I feel like you really need to actually buy the right shampoo for your scalp this one is champagne toast scented so I was like okay hopefully they come out with more scents because I want to smell like luminous I want my hair to smell like luminous that would be so good but this actually smells really good I'll try it next time I shower and I'll let you guys know how it is I think this wasn't too bad I think it was like $14 or something. I also got this Aroma Inspire Love Rose in Vanilla Essential Oil Mist. This has vitamin E. I don't know what it is about these like essential oil mists. I used to have the sleep one and I would just like spray it on my pillow and it would just smell so good. I wish I got that. I don't know why I didn't get that one again. But this one is so pretty. Like look at the packaging and I just love rose and vanilla mixed together. Like, I would spray this on my bed sheets and it would probably smell so good or even like my couch. Hello? Yes. Oh, wow. Next we have Lush. Yay. Lush did have their Valentine's Day collection but a lot of the stuff was sold out so I was like girl. What am I supposed to do? So I ended up just getting one bath bomb and I got this one. It smells so good. I don't know what it's called. This is what it looks like. I just think it's so beautiful. It's got like a heart in the middle. Oh my gosh. The scent is so nice. I know there's like some cherry in there. I love all the cherry scents that are coming out because cherry is so like Valentine's Day vibes. This smells so good, you guys. If you're gonna get a bath bomb, go get this one right now because it's so good. I wanted that hamburger bath bomb, but I was like, hey, relax. Are you actually gonna use that? And they had some Snow Fairy that was on sale, so I got two of the Snow Fairy body scrubs. I think this was like $6 or something. But in total, I'm pretty sure I only spent like $23 on these three. Next up is Sephora. I quickly dropped $200 at Sephora. Like, why does this always happen, you guys? And $200 isn't even bad compared to like what other people spend. Okay, first is this Patrick Ta blush. This is in the shade She's Giving. Oh my God, I have been needing a new blush for so long and I was like, oh, this is in stock. It's always out of stock. I feel like it's the perfect hot pink. It comes with a cream and a powder. This was a whopping $50, like, okay. Anyways, <laughs> next I got the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is my favorite setting spray, you guys. I always talk about this Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and it smells so good too. Like, get all over my face. I'm so excited. Wow, I really only got four things for $200. Oh my God, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So I also got the Fenty Beauty Match Stick. I usually use the Rare Beauty um, Contour Stick, but they were sold out of my shade. I got this one in the shade Suede-ish. It's okay, I was hoping for something more cool tone. Why didn't I try it instead of Sephora? I don't know, I was just like very impulsive. I was like, yes, give me. I also had to go get myself the freaking concealer because Fenty Beauty sent me their concealer in a PR package and guess who decided to pick out the wrong shades? Me. The shades that I picked out were too dark so I'll use them when I'm a bit more tan or I'll give them away. But I went and got a super bright shade so I can just mix them together and then we'll be just fine. But I'm so excited. I still haven't tried it. I don't know why I have to smell everything. Next, I went to Shoppers Drug Mart. If you don't know what Shoppers Drug Mart is, it's equivalent to like CVS. It's like a mini, mini grocery store. So it's kind of overpriced, but I just go there whenever I really need something and I don't want to go to Walmart. Anyways, you guys always ask me what like nylons I wear under my dresses and stuff that make my legs look smooth in photos. This is the one. This is the brand. It's the Secret Silky Nylons. I specifically get the blue ones. I feel like these have a really nice 
amount of stretch. I get the size C, but it has like a guide for the sizes on the back. And I always do the shade neutral because that like matches my skin tone the most. If you do like a different color, then it's just not gonna look as natural. They're so comfortable too, and they will like snatch you in. They'll keep you a bit warmer, especially in the winter time. So these are like my number one like must have thing i will not leave the house in a dress if i don't have tights if i'm gonna go out i'd rather feel more confident and feel more comfortable rather than like worried about who's looking at my cellulite you know what i mean i'm fine with my cellulite i'm not gonna remove it if you have to see it you have to see it but if there's an option to cover it up why not you know like I don't see it as a big deal. I would just rather have it because it makes me feel more confident. And if I feel more confident, then I'm happier. And then if I'm happier, I'll have a better time. It's just a whole thing. I finally found the pink mouthwash, this Thera Breath mouthwash I've been seeing all over my For You page. And the pink one was only available in the US for so long. And I tried to buy it on Amazon. It was like $50 for one. So I finally found it for like 10 bucks. Got two of them. The other one is in my washroom and I'm so excited because it's freaking pink, man. Last I got deodorant. I usually use like the pink spray on deodorant. I don't know, just like the pearl scent, but they were sold out. So I got this glowing ritual lotus flower scent. I really hope this one is just as good. Oh yeah, this actually kind of smells a lot better. Oh my God, hello, oh, that's cold. Soon I have to start getting ready for the dinner tonight. I am so hungry. You know when hunger just like hits you? I'm so hungry now, <laughs> but it's okay. Anyways, I'm gonna chill for a bit and watch some more Desperate Housewives and then I'm gonna get ready for Blessings dinner. I'm just getting ready for the dinner now and of course I'm running late. Our reservation is at 9.30 and it's 9.17 right now, but thankfully the place is only like five minutes away from my house. My hair is so flat, you guys. I really wish I washed it, but I didn't. And now it looks so flat. I'll show you my outfit in a second. Let me just get this freaking dry shampoo in here. You guys, dry shampoo has been a serious lifesaver. I don't want to wash my hair every day just to kind of like maintain my scalp's health. So this has been coming in clutch. Also, this restaurant that we're going to does not have a phone number online. Like, I can't call them and tell them we're going to be late. So hopefully they just don't give us a hard time. It's okay, though. I'm excited to go for dinner and celebrate blessing. Also, Mimi's coming, too. Now I need to turn my straightener on. When I'm running late, I don't look at the time because if I look at the time, it just stresses me out even more and I'm not trying to get stressed out. This place closes at 11. Not like we have much time there anyways. So I really wish we booked the reservation, honestly, somewhere else that didn't care so much about rezos. Like, we're all running late. I'm running late. Mimi's coming too. And she's running late. Blessing is running late. Like, girl, everyone's running late right now. <laughs> so it's not just me, which honestly makes me feel so much better. It's my fault because I always think that I don't need a lot of time to get ready, but I always do. <laughs> I always need like freaking four hours to get ready. Okay, that's as good as this hair is gonna get. And for perfume, I'm just doing Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. I feel like it matches this outfit. Okay, this is the outfit. It's super cute. I'm just gonna wear it with black heels and I need a black purse and I'm good to go. <laughs> Let's go. Nobody's here yet and I'm the first one to be here. I'm so excited. Wait till you guys see how cute it is. We're going up to, where are we going? Are we moving? I think we're going up to the 41st floor. But this is a better view of the outfit. Isn't that cute? Oh my God. <laughs> Makeup? Are you kidding me? I just did this really quick. I'll be just this. I just put it on. Congratulations Hi. on three years of blessed nails. Thank you. So good. Come see me. Right? Literally. Hi, Mimi. Hi. You look beautiful too. <laughs> this is Summer. She's so beautiful. Hi. And the most beautiful. I just got the most disgusting drink ever. <laughs> it's giving disgust. 
Eight dollar merchants, fuck your main bitch. That's just how I feel. That's just how I feel. Just now. Hey, dollar Mike, say fuck the niggas that you gave away. That's just how I feel. That's just how I feel. Just now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, dollar Mike, just make that lane switch. That's just how I feel. That's just how I feel. Just now. Hey, dollar Mike. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for my supporters, my club famous, and I'm doing Nicki Minaj's nails. Yes, yes. Right yes. now. Yes. Thank you, Jonathan. Exactly. <laughs> hey. Oh, me and my niggas tryna get it, you bitch. Yeah, bitch. Get that house, like, tell me, is you with it, you bitch? Yeah, bitch. Home invasion, what's the place? I'm finally back home, girl. I am so so tired I can't even function I think I just ate way too much we ended up going to a hookah place after and I was just not having it the idea of it sounded like so much fun but when we got there it was just like so loud and the lights were flashing and nobody was there so it's like who are the lights flashing for you know I was just so tired I was like I am so ready to just go home and get into comfy clothes and i did just that but yeah girl today's been a super chill day i definitely wasn't as productive as i wanted to be i filmed one tiktok and i'm filming this youtube video right now but i really should be doing more but i just got so caught up in the sauce also we took some super cute photos blessing looks so good in the pictures i got some cute pictures too girl i love taking pictures honestly that's like one of my favorite things to do some of my friends hate when i pull out the camera and i'm like first of all girl it's literally my job second of all why do you not want to capture the moment you know like do you not want to remember this forever and get some cute photos like i don't understand it was so nice to meet up with some girls that love taking pictures nobody was complaining everyone was like hyping each other up it was so cute that's genuinely all I've ever wanted from a friendship like I just want us to have a good time together and have fun together so I'm really glad I was able to do that now I'm gonna edit this video and I also need to look through my photos and see which one I'm gonna post and I need to edit my TikTok video right now whenever the day is done and I'm ready to sit on the couch this is when I literally just sit down and edit all night long like you guys see I post on my Instagram story at like 5 o'clock in the morning sometimes because I just get so carried away. I'm definitely a night owl so I'm actually super excited to just chill, edit my videos and hopefully get this up for you guys ASAP. I was going to do two videos this week. I think I'm going to do another day in my life vlog. You guys let me know how you like this video. Of course I always love and appreciate your feedback more than anything else. I really really had fun filming this and you know if you guys want another day in my life vlog we'll do that next week. and. Also, a lot of you guys asked me about the Q&A. Girl, it's freaking coming, okay? I'm so sorry. Maybe, like, next week I'll post it. Um, yeah, so that's coming soon. Don't worry. I just have to literally sit and answer these damn questions. Why is it so hard? I don't know. I just feel like because sometimes I just ramble on about absolutely nothing and then none of it like makes sense and I'm like what am I even saying you know what I mean so that's just the whole thing if you guys have any other questions feel free to leave them down below I love you angels so much I really hope you enjoyed this video of course I will see you next week don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you never miss when I post I love you Mwah. bye